introduce yourself to our listeners and your line. Hello, I'm Kenneth Barless, and the name of my collection is Divina, and it is inspired from a red rose. And Tell us about this rose, because it's an awesome story. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> well, this red rose, I received it on my birthday from my ex-partner, <laughs> and the whole story of this collection was with a lot of romance on it, you know, but with a touch of edginess and dark side of the whole entire relationship. You know, same old, same old relationship, boring, but I tried to put my touch to it. So if you see my collection, it's a lot of textures, a lot of detail. And gorgeous. Thank you. And stunning. <laughs> Thank you. And I have a lot of um, sophistication still, even though that's one of a kind pieces that it's really, it's over, overly rated sometimes, but I try to make it with the elegance and sophistication of course. When did you start all this? Like, what made you want to start it? That's what? the other thing that it's super corny and stuff, but the, the, the honest thing, the whole story about the whole being a fashion designer is that my ex-partner pushed me to do this. Because when I'm doing my own garments and my my jackets, I would say a year and a half ago, he saw my, he saw my, my, my passion to mm -hmm. it. So he was pushing me to do it and make it as a career. In the beginning, I was like, I'm just happy to sell a $20 dress or a $20 shirt. Uh -huh. But he was like, no, you can do better. You can do better. And, you know, I go and I applied in, in FIDM in my school. And I, I joined a couple of competition and both of them I won. And it's the third one. And I'm so happy. And, mm -hmm. you know, it just started from a very basic um, sweater that right. I did. Crazy. And then to this. To this collection. So was there a blooper that happened during the runway or during the whole process that none of us knew about? I would say there's always behind the scenes stuff. So what can you tell us? Give us an <laughs> inside scoop. We want to know. <laughs> I don't know if I should allow, I should be allowed. Maybe my contract will get terminated. Oh, like you, well, sorry, sorry. Okay, something not too, it's like not too big. Little, the like, chaos in the back is always a mess, you know, like yeah. all these girls carrying, but when they go outside, they look so fabulous. And carrying my gowns, it's like 15, 20 pounds a piece. Oh, wow. So they look like struggling inside, but you know, when they see outside, you see all this glamour on them. So I think that's like a sneak peek of the behind the scene that I would say. And then <laughs> we found out the winner of the whole competition. Drum roll, please. Who was the winner? It's Kenneth Barless. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> I was so, so excited that you won. I was voting top notch for you. Aww. I still wanted you to take it. So, how do you Thank feel you. about it? I didn't, I didn't um, anticipate that I'm going to win, you know, um, since the very, very beginning, all I've just been doing is just do my effort, do my work, you know, have my passion to it, every piece of my collection, and I never really, I never, I never um, could think that I'm going to be the winner, but I guess, you know, hard work pays off. It does, and everything's so gorgeous. Thank you. What is next? Tell our listeners, what is next? <laughs> because you have some crazy plans coming up. Well, in a couple of weeks in the 23rd I am leaving for the Caribbean Fashion Week and specifically it's in Barbados mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be for the International Fashion Week and I'm representing the US. That is crazy. I How know. exciting is that? It's really exciting especially all the traveling and the whole experience about it. I can't wait to do it especially they put me on the main event mm -hmm. to open the whole show. Wow. So I'm that excited. That is such a great accomplishment. You have done so good. Thank you. Great personality. Overall Thank great you. package. Thank you. And then where can everyone go see all your stuff? Well, I have a store in La Jolla. Oh, you Not do? my store, but okay. the, the store that carries my line. Okay. But most of those are RTW, so very ready to wear. What Craziness. Store is it? It's M. The Skull. Okay. La Jolla. <laughs> what is your must have that you always have to have? A white shirt. Always? A Why white shirt that? and a denim. Um, it's just so easy to wear and very fresh. And whatever day it is, like whatever time, it's appropriate, I believe. So, white t shirt and the jeans is always good to have.